Special thanks to Patreon supporter Jarek Barnes for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 before here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Lockheed U2 nicknamed Dragon Lady. The Lockheed U-2 uh, was an American single-gen engine ultra-high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft operated by the United States Air Force, uh, USAF, and previously flown by the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. It provides a day and night high-altitude all-weather intelligence gathering um, platform. Lockheed Corporation originally proposed it in 1953. Approval followed in 1954 and the first flight occurred in 1955. It was flown during the Cold War over the Soviet Union, China, Vietnam, and Cuba. U-2s have also taken part in post-Cold War conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq and have supported several multinational NATO operations. The U-2 has been used for electronic sensor research, satellite calibration, scientific research, and communications purposes. The U-2 is one of the handful of aircraft types to have served the U.S. Air Force for over 50 years. Uh, one of the aircraft, other aircrafts being the Boeing B-52. The new, newest models, TR-1, U-2R, uh, and U-2S entered service in, 19, in the 1980s, with the latest model, the U-2S, uh, receiving its technical upgrade in 2012. So these aircraft are still in service to this day, and really shows the capability of this aircraft, and just the versatility with the constant upgrades and everything like that, and the newer models just basically accelerating the service life of this aircraft, uh, it's pretty crazy, and um, I was actually surprised with over there was actually over 104 of these built, which I did not know. I didn't think there was that many. I think it was kind of like I thought I was thinking like a you know typical kind of SR-71 type deal where there's only like maybe like 13 or something them built, but actually quite a bit of them were made. Um, so anyways, uh, special thanks to uh, a new Patreon supporter, Jarek Barnes, for making this uh, tutorial possible. If you're interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Uh, it really helps me out. And, uh, you know, especially with uh, YouTube and stuff like that, uh, you know, ads being wishy-washy sometimes, it really helps me out and um, is a good way to uh, support the channel directly. And uh, it's most appreciated. And uh, Jarek Barnes is a new Patreon supporter, so thank you so much, Jarek, for... Uh, you know, becoming a supporter, and um, hope to see more uh, requests from you in the near future. Anyways, uh, let's go and take a look at the U-2 itself, see exactly what we'd be building. This model here is more based off the U-2S, so it's more of the modern version, uh, but it's still a, basically a U-2. Now, what makes this the modern version is the addition of the pylons on the wings here, um, which I originally thought were like external fuel tanks to kind of, or fuel tanks really just to kind of give it a... Uh, you know more of a more range but they're actually for surveillance purposes i forget actually exactly what they're for but they are for that purpose um there's also a kind of um thing up on top here <laughs> again not 100 percent sure what it is it could be like radar or something like that i really do not know but you know there's some u2s that have it i decided to add it because i thought it looked interesting um so really cool stuff there we have all kinds of instruments uh antennas and just other communications little uh, doohickeys that come off the bottom here uh, nothing real fancy um, over, over there uh, obviously with the nose of the aircraft falling back from it we have the cockpit uh, the air intakes here for the jet engine um, again the pylons on the wings here and the wings that go out to the sides there obviously both ways the uh, little bulbish bouge or bulge up on top here whatever you want to call it and fuselage continues back here to the vertical stabilizer, stabilizer horizontal stabilizer and all that fun stuff um, anyways, that's pretty much it for an overview of the aircraft. We're probably going to move into our uh, first set of layers here, uh, or first layer really, which probably will be layer one, just because layer one is going to be a little bit more difficult to do rather than we just start with like layer three or something. Uh, but I'll let you guys know. But anyways, let's move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer three. Now, you'll see here that we are out of our shader pack and everything like that just because it's going to be a little bit easier for us to see the blocks, nether brick, and just working with black blocks in general. They really blend together, and it's really difficult sometimes to tell the individual blocks from each other. So uh, it's a little bit easier for us to go ahead and switch to default, and hopefully a little bit easier on you guys as well to um, see what blocks exactly we're placing and how we're placing it, as well as for myself, too. Uh, I actually had to switch to this pack when I was building the aircraft because it was just too much uh, with the shaders and this darkness and shading. 
Um, so anyways, uh, we do have a landed version for the aircraft as well. Um, so that's also a possibility if you do want to build this thing landed. Only thing is you'll have to build this layer that's going to be layer 3. It's going to have to be um, a total of two blocks of space from this row right here, from the ground right here. So you can see the black wool representing the, the ground, the orange wool representing basically the space you need in between. Uh, the bottom portion here, the fuselage and the aircraft. So make sure that that's correct if you are building this thing landed. Um, if not, you're going to have some problems if it being too high, too low. Uh, one of those. Uh, anyways, again, if you are new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these, I do half on camera, half off. So what this means is I'll be doing the whole right side on camera, and then it's up to you guys to copy the left side over. Um, as you can see, the left side's already copied over. Anyways, uh, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to start off by working our way to the front here, we're going to place down a black wool block. We're then going to place down a netter brick upside down stair, followed by a netter brick top side coming off the front of that stair facing toward whatever direction you want your plane facing. So we're going to have it facing that direction there. Just to kind of give you guys a visual of where we are on the aircraft, it's going to be basically this portion right here, so the very front tip of the nose of the aircraft, so make sure that you have plenty of space behind it if you're in a close, confined area. After this uh, netter brick stair here, we're going to place down a long row of black wool, which is going to be a total of 29, 29, sorry, of black wool blocks going back from this narrow brick upside down stair. Again, that's 29 black wool blocks back going back. We then want to place down two narrow brick top slabs, a black wool block, a narrow brick upside down stair facing toward the rear of the aircraft, which is going to be in, going in that direction that way. We then want to place down a narrow brick top slab, followed by a second narrow brick top slab coming off the narrow brick stair, and then two stone brick top slabs for the very end there. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front and work our way out to the side. We then want to go and take cobblestone walls, place down one and two along these two black wool blocks. After that's done, we're going to go and take narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Narrow brick ups down stairs back, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen black wool blocks back from that narrow brick stair. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one and two, nether brick upside down stairs, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six, nether brick top slab. So it should end on both sides of this nether brick stair here on the very end, followed by a row of one and two iron trap doors going back like that. So you should have a center line here that's going to look something like this with our first start out to the right side here. And again, you're going to copy the same design over to the left side. They're perfectly symmetrical, so they're going to go to both sides like so. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we then want to go ahead and continue on our side here. We're going to go ahead and go to the first black wool block back from this long row of, I believe, eight nether brick stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab that comes off this black wool block, followed by a second nether brick slab after it. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six black wool blocks back from this nether brick slab. We're going to go ahead and switch back to uh, nether brick stairs here. We're going to place down a row of three nether brick upside down stairs, so one, two, and three upside down nether brick stairs. Followed by a row of one, two, three, four, and uh, just sorry, four narrow brick top subs. Once that's done, we're going to again go up to the uh, front up here to this uh, start here for the air intake. We're going to go and place down two narrow brick top subs coming off these first two black wool blocks. We then want to place down two narrow brick top subs going toward the front. So you get something that looks like this on the side here, and it's going to be the same thing over on that side when you transfer it over. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we want to go ahead and grab our narrow brick slabs here. We're going to place down a uh, an air brick top slab come off this uh, last black wool block in this row of six right here. So just coming off to the side like that. Going back from this air brick top slab, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. An air brick top slabs back and an iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern a total of, I believe that's going to be four more times. So we're just going to go and do this four more times. So one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, an air brick top slabs, iron trap door. One, two, three, four, and five. An air brick top slabs, an iron trap door. Again, one, two, three, four, and five. Iron trap door. One, two, three, four, and five. Iron trap door. So in total, you should you should have five iron trap doors with five narrow brick top slabs going forward, and that's going to be the same thing again on both sides, like so. Once that's done, we're going to go and go off these um, narrow brick top slabs here, and we're going to place down a row of five of narrow brick ups down stairs with their backs facing toward the uh, outside of the wing. So facing that direction there. We're going to place down those five narrow brick upside down stairs, and we then want to place down a row of five of black wool right behind those stairs. Now once that's done, going to the black wool here, we want to go ahead and place down a row of black wool going back. So from this row of five here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four uh, black wool blocks 
that go back like this. We're then going to place down a nether brick upside down stair, followed by a nether brick top slab and the iron trap door on the back here. Uh, on the side right here, on the inside, we're going to take nether brick stairs and place down a row of one, two, uh, coming off this nether brick stair here. So one right here connected to the iron trap door, one's taken out past it, two nether brick top slabs, and then a wither skeleton skull on the side of this nether brick upside down stair. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and go over to this side and practically do the same thing. So a wither skeleton skull coming off this um, nether brick upside down stair here, uh, two nether brick top slabs after that, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven nether brick upside down stairs along the side here. Now going toward the front, we're going to go, ahead and, go ahead and again grab our black wool block, go for the middle one right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, uh, and six. Black wool blocks going forward. We're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair, nether brick top slab on the end here. We're going to go ahead and go to both sides of the nether bricks upside down stair here on the front. We're going to place down a wither skeleton uh, skull on both sides. We're going to go back one and two nether brick top slabs on both sides, and then just fill in the space between the top slabs to the stairs here, which should be about four uh, nether brick upside down stairs. So one, two, three, and four along the side there, just like that. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and go to our, um, we want to go ahead and go to basically our stairs right here. So counting from the back here, we have one, two, three. This is going to be your fourth, fifth, and sixth nether brick stair here from the rear. So it should kind of be in the middle of this row of five here of nether brick top slabs. Kind of sticks out something like that to the side there. Now both sides of this row of three of nether brick top slabs are going to place down an iron trap door on both sides. We then want to place down a row of five of iron trap doors across, followed by a second row after that. Again, if you look, it should be kind of in line here with the uh, previous kind of rows of five of nether brick we were doing. So you kind of see how that's lined up like that. Once that's done, we're going to, go and switch back to uh, rows of three here. So rows of three of iron trap doors, we're going to do this three times. And note that these iron trap doors are also on the top portion of the block and not on the bottom portion like that. So make sure that that is correct. And then on the last thing we're going to do is just place down one iron trap door that sticks out on the end there like that. So looking at from above, we should have something that looks just like this once you copy the right side over to the left side. And overall, you have a nice looking design so far for the um, for the uh, U2. With that done, that's going to do it for layer 3. We're going to work our way down to layers 1 and 2, which is basically just going to be adding all the little instruments and stuff like that. As you can see on the bottom of the aircraft right there, just going to be adding those on. And um, then we'll be able to go ahead and continue on working our way up to uh, layer 4. So with that, let's move on to layers 1 and 2. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 1. Uh, to go ahead and get started with this, we want to go ahead and go to uh, basically the bottom underneath here. Now, we're going to be basically adding on little uh, instruments and stuff on the bottom here. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Mine's not necessarily perfect replica of the uh, actual U2, as it was kind of hard to get some of the stuff to fit together. Um, however, it is pretty close, so you can kind of, if something's not completely right, it's not going to make that big of a deal, and it's just detailing on the bottom here. Uh, but basically, to get started here, I'm going to go ahead and use some orange uh, wool here, just to kind of stand out against the black on the bottom here for it to be easier to see. Um, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, start off, we're going to go ahead and place down an orange block in the middle here that's kind of in between the air intakes here on both sides here, the middle black wool block coming down as a nice starting point. Now going toward the front here, we want to go ahead and skip a space of one, two, and three blocks. We're then going to place down two end rods on the end here like this. We then can break these three orange uh, wool blocks and we're going to place down a iron trap door right here that's coming off this orange wool block. We then can break this orange wool block, place down an air brick slab, and then a iron trap door. We then want to take our orange uh, wool again. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and uh, we're going to go ahead and stop at four blocks back. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a end rod that comes down from the middle. We're then going to place down a dark oak, or sorry, another brick stair facing this direction like so. We're going to have a iron trap door coming off the front of the stair and a iron trap door that comes down. Just remember that the orange wool here is the center line of the aircraft, so this is off centered from the side there and it is supposed to be like that. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to need to grab ourselves some dark or some narrow brick fences. Um, so let's grab those real quick. We're going to place down uh, a placeholder block here, just to skip a space here of orange wool right here. We then want to place down a narrow brick fence and then an end rod that comes down like that. Now, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to our next space back. So this black one right here, 
So we're going to go and place down a place where we'll block here and again in the middle. Orange wool, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair here to the side. Iron trap really comes off the front of the stair and also one that comes off the bottom. We're going to go ahead and go over, we're going to go ahead and place down an additional orange wool block. Over to the left side, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair again like this. Uh, a iron trap door and a um, iron trap door on the bottom of that trap door like that. Uh, we're then going to place down a end rod right here in the space right here. And then we're going to place down a nether brick fence post back like that. And that's basically the main, the general idea of what I was going for on the bottom here. And you can kind of get the general idea of what we're going for, all the instruments on the bottom and everything like that. So again, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but that's pretty much what I did for mine. So um, if you want to copy it, you can copy it. If you want to do something different, feel free to go ahead. Um, anyways, when we go to this, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the surveillance pods on the sides here. We're going to go to the third uh, black wool block from this narrow brick stair up here. So it's going to be the third black wool block back. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post that comes down, followed by a iron trap door on the bottom of the fence post. One that goes back and an iron trap door on top of that. Um, just like this for this little thing that sticks down from the sides here. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Just like this on the bottom of these pylons. So you get something that kind of looks like that on the bottom there, all the way around. And with that done, that's going to do it for layer uh, 1 for 2. As I mentioned, it's a little bit easier to start off with layer 3 and come back and add those details on. Um, so anyways, with that out of the way, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front here. We're going to place down another brick slab on top of this narrow brick top slab for the nose. We then want to go, and ho go ahead and go back from this narrow brick slab, placing down a row of black wool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and get a count here real quick. This should be in total 34 black wool blocks that go back from this narrow brick slab up here in the front. It's going to go all the way back here to basically end uh, right here on top of this narrow brick upside down stair from this back little pod that sticks out on the bottom here. Now once that's all done, we want to go ahead and um, after that row of black wool, we're going to place down a um, glowstone block and then an orange stained glass block that should end right, be right before these stone brick top slabs. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front and start working our ways out to the side now. Now we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull, place it down on both sides of this black wool block. So just like this, we're going to place down one, two, three, uh, four uh, cobblestone walls that come back from the wither skeleton skull, followed by a nether brick stair and a nether brick corner stair coming off of that. We're going to go ahead and again take black wool and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 black wool blocks back so it should end on top of this iron trap door here followed by two polished anisite blocks that will come out to the end there. When that's all done we're going to go ahead and go to our intakes right here or air intakes we're going to go ahead and work on these a bit so for this we're going to go and place down a wooden trap door that's going to come off of these two uh, narrow brick top slabs are going to be opened up to kind of face out toward the outside there and on the sides of these iron trap doors or wooden trap doors sorry we're going to place down some signs there like that to kind of fill in the, the gaps in them once that's done there we're going to go and place down a black wool block that goes back from them followed by a cobblestone wall from the black wool block connecting to the main fuselage uh, coming off the cobblestone wall we're going to place down a sign like this and we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame. We're going to place down an item frame like this and a black wool block in the item frame. Same thing over here. Just like that for the intakes. After that's done, we want to go ahead and go back from the cobblestone wall for black wool. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 black wool blocks back. Followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 cobblestone walls back. Again, going back up to our intakes here from this uh, black wool block right here, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3 cobblestone walls, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 black wool blocks back. We're then going to place down 1 and 2 stone brick slabs back, and then a stone slab just like that. Once uh, that's done there, we're going to go and place down a narrow brick stair coming off this uh, black wool block right here. Going back from the narrow brick stair, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, and 4 black wool blocks back, 1 and 2 stone brick slabs, and a stone slab like this. We then want to repeat this uh, pattern here two more times. So going out to the side, narrow brick stair, a row of black wool, a stone, two stone brick slabs, a stone slab like this, and same thing again, uh, one more time, stair, black wool, stone brick slabs, stone stair. 
Now, once that's all done, we're going to place down a um, narrow brick slab. That's going to be coming off the side of the stair. Going back from the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four black wool blocks, followed by one and two stone brick stairs and a stone slab on the end here. Now, with that all done, we're going to go ahead and go to our pylon here and basically duplicate what we did from the previous layers on the pylon, basically up. So, uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to place down a uh, narrow brick slab on top of the top slab here, stair on top of the upside down stair, narrow brick stairs to both sides of the stair. Behind the stair, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 black wool blocks back. Narrow brick stair on the end here, followed by a narrow brick slab coming off the front of the stair, iron trap door on both sides of the stair, a wither skeleton skull. And then uh, out to the or the outside here, we're just going to place down two narrow brick slabs from the uh, Wither Skeleton Skull, followed by a long row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 narrow brick stairs and two narrow brick slabs. Over here, same thing, two narrow brick stairs and 1, 2, 3, 4 narrow brick stairs that go back. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 black wool blocks to kind of connect up like this. We're then going to go and switch back to our narrow brick stairs here, place down a row of one, two, three, back, and then we're going to place down one and two narrow brick slabs. So your pylon looks something like that. You're basically taking what we did from the previous layer and kind of copying it onto the top there. Anyways, continuing out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and have a few uh, repeating rows here. So we want to go ahead and have a total of seven of these rows here. So we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the outside here, and we actually want to go ahead and go to these narrow brick stairs right here and we're actually going to go ahead and swap these out for black wool so the basically the same section we did right there with black wool we're going to go ahead and swap it out and place black wool in that section here so it just goes straight across there with the wings um, then we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick stair that's going to come off this black wool block followed by one two and three black wool box going back from it and then we're going to place down a stone brick slab and then a stone slab after that you're going to go ahead and repeat this row seven times so we're going to place down one two three four five and six more stairs up to the side so we have a total of uh, seven of these rows and we're going to go and just basically do the same thing for each of these rows so our we're going to have seven rows of three here of black wool a row of seven of stone brick slabs across the side there and a row of seven of stone slabs across just like that pretty straightforward pretty simple now when we have that done we're going to place down a narrow brick slab that is going to be right next to here and after that is done, we're going to take our black wool and we're going to go one, two, and three black wool blocks back and then a stone slab like this on the end here. Now we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick stairs here. We're going to have three narrow brick slabs come off this one. So one, two, and three out to the side. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three of black wool going back from each of these, or sorry, a row of two going back from each of these um, narrow brick slabs here on the end here of black wool. We're going to place down a stone brick corner stair right here, two stone brick regular stairs, so this is going to be a corner stair, two regular stairs like this going back, and then a row of three of stone slabs going across from that. Now once that's done, on the outside here, we're going to go and place down a uh, narrow brick top slab. That's going to go up from this narrow brick slab right here. Behind the top slab, we want to go ahead and place down two black wool blocks, a stone brick stair, and a stone slab like that. Continuing on, uh, we are going to go ahead and then place down a row of two here of of these um, narrow brick top slabs. We're going to place down a narrow black wool block, a stone brick slab, and a stone slab. We then want to place down a row of three of narrow brick top slabs. Uh, we're going to do the same thing: a stone slab and or stone brick slab and a stone slab like that going back. Now, once that's done, we're going to place down a row of two. Of narrow brick right here along the side here again same thing narrow brick slab right here and a stone slab we then want to place down a uh, what is going to be a another row of two this one's gonna be a bit different though we're gonna place down a row of two narrow brick top slabs followed by a stone um, slab coming off of it just like that and once that's uh, done there we want to go ahead and basically go from this stone slab and we're gonna go ahead and go up and go up from an angle we're gonna have a row of five here of these two of uh, basically the same row here so we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of narrow brick top slabs a stone top slab coming off that row of two and we're going to do this four more times so going along here 
four more times. Stone top slabs across the side here, and then on the very tip of the wing, we're going to place down three narrow brick top slabs that go across like that. And once you have that done, you pretty much have the wings complete and layer three. We're talking about layer four all complete. That's probably going to be the most challenging and longest layer for this build. Once that's done, though, we can move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number five. So for layer five, we're going to go ahead and again start off at the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to the third black wool block back in this uh, long row of black wool that's going to go down the middle here. We're going to place down a iron trap door, followed by two stone brick slabs back. We then want to place down a row of three of light gray stained glass um, full blocks. You could also change this to a darker color depending on um, your shader pack or whatever, just whatever works for you guys. We then want to place down a long row of black wool. This row in total is going to be 27 blocks long and it's going to end on top of this orange stained glass block on the end here. We're then going to place down two polished anesthetic blocks that go back, followed by an iron trap door on the very end there. Once that's done, going back up to the front up here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull, place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight 30 degree angle on both sides of the stone brick or slab here. We then want to place down just a straight facing narrow brick um, skull, or sorry, a wither skeleton skull going back um, from it like that. On the sides here are these first two uh, light gray stained glass full blocks. We're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, followed by two light gray stained glass full blocks back from that. We then want to take black wool and we're going to go and place down a long row of black wool on the side here. So this is going to go uh, pretty far back, so it's going to count it out. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Black wool blocks back, followed by another brick stair. We're going to go and place down another stair coming off this. So this is a corner stair. We have a regular stair right here. Um, this stair, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Regular stairs back. A stone brick stair on the end here and a stone brick slab coming off the side of the stair there. Um, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and go and uh, focus in now on our intakes right here. To go ahead and continue these, we're going to take our nether brick top slabs. We're going to place down one and two coming off the uh, third and fourth black wool block from this light gray stainless block here. So these two um, nether brick top slabs. We're then going to pull out black wool, place down one, two, and three. Black wool blocks back, fall by a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Narrow brick stairs back. And sorry, my bad, it's gonna be five narrow brick stairs back and then a narrow brick corner stair. We're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, and four uh, nether brick slabs that go back from this corner stair. Once that's done, uh, that's gonna kinda of do it here for the uh, the fuselage and we're gonna continue on. So now onto the side here, the intakes, we're gonna go ahead and place down a narrow brick slab on top of the wooden trap door, fall by one, two, and three more slabs back, so even a nice row of four on the sides there. Once that's done, focusing in now on the wings, we're gonna go ahead and go to the, uh, basically these two stairs right here. So they're the second, or sorry, third and fourth stair from this black wool block going back. We're gonna place down two iron trap doors on this black wool blocks from the wings here, followed by three more rows of two that go out like that to the side there. We then wanna go ahead and go down an angle from this one, and then go down and place down a row of two. We're going to go ahead and do this a total of four more times to give us a row of five, or two rows of five there. And then we just want to place down one more iron trap door coming off the top there like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buns. We're going to place down stone buns with a space of one in between them, running down the entire length of the wing here on these black wool blocks that run along side the, um, the uh, flaps here. And it's just going to kind of go all the way down here, just like this to the very edge tip of the wing there like that for a bit of detailing on the wings and also on top of all the narrow brick top slabs on the end here we want to place down black carpet just to kind of keep a more consistent color especially when you're looking at the aircraft from up above to keep a nice consistent kind of black color throughout the wings there um, when that's all done there the last thing for us to do is to grab ourselves a nether brick fence post and also some iron trap doors we're going to place down a nether brick fence post on this uh, third black wool block on these pylons here from the front. We then want to place down a iron trap door on top, an iron trap door coming off the side here of the narrow brick fence post facing toward the rear, and then an iron trap door on top of that one. So you get something that kind of looks like this, and same thing kind of replicating from the from the bottom of the uh, pylons as well. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number five. With that, let's move on to layer six. I right, guess we move on to our next layer. We have layer six. For layer 6, we're going to start off by placing down a nether brick slab on top of the second light gray stained glass full block back. After this uh, nether brick slab, we're going to place down 1 and 2 light gray stained glass blocks going back. We then want to place down a row of 4 of black wool going back from these this light gray stained glass full block, 
followed by another brick stair if it's back facing toward the rear of the aircraft. After the narrow brick stair here, we're going to place down three narrow brick slabs going back, followed by one, two, three. Uh, let me just uh, kind of do a selection here to make sure. Uh, seven black wool blocks back, where they're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four iron trap doors, followed by two narrow brick slabs, a narrow brick stair. And after the narrow brick stair here on the back, we're going to place down a row of seven again of black wool, a narrow brick slab on this iron trap door, and one iron trap door that comes off this narrow brick slab, like that for the center line for this layer. We're going to wait out to the side now. We're going to go back up to the front. We're going to go and go to uh, this uh, like racing stained glass pane on both sides. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of it at a 45 degree angle on both ends. We're then going to go ahead and place down a row of one and two of like racing stained glass panes along the side here, followed by a row of one, two, three. Um, or sorry, two narrow brick stairs, a narrow brick corner stair, where they're going to place down one, two, and three narrow brick slabs that come off this corner stair. Uh, go on ahead and continue now. We're going to take some iron trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors running along the side there. And we're going to go ahead and skip back to the tail here. On both sides of this second narrow brick slab from the front, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull again at a 45 degree angle on both ends, followed by just a normal straight wither skeleton skull on the sides here. We then want to place down one and two cobblestone walls, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four nether brick uh, stairs going back. And then again, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle on these stone brick slabs here on both ends. Now, once that's done, we want to go ahead and do the horizontal stabilizers. So for these, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the first stair right here. And we're going to place down a row of what is going to be, I believe that is four narrow brick slabs yep so we're gonna place down one two three and four narrow brick slabs out to the side we then want to place down a second row coming off the second stair a row of eight narrow brick slabs so uh, we have uh, five six seven and eight our next row out stone brick slabs we're gonna place down a row of four going out to the side followed by another row of four of stone slabs uh, coming off that row of four and then come off these four stone brick slabs here. We're going to place down a row of four of stone slabs like that going back. And that's going to do it there for your horizontal stabilizers. When that's all done, that is going to pretty much do it for layer number uh, five, I believe, where we're on. Maybe layer six, actually, my bad. I'll have to double check. Uh, I'll obviously look in the left-hand left -hand corner and I'll tell you guys. But let's go ahead and uh, move on to what will most likely be our final layers. And uh, which we'll put the top up on top here and uh, put the... Uh, horizontal or the vertical stabilizer and all that fun stuff so with that let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers all right so moving on to our last final layers we have layers 7 through 13 for these layers to go ahead and get started here we're going to go ahead and start off by going and taking black carpet and placing down a row of two of black carpet one on top of this like gray stainless full block and one black carpet on top of this um black wool carpet right th or black wool block right there once that's done we're going to go back to this narrow brick stair here we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair coming off of it at an angle like that we then want to go ahead and go and place down a row of five of black wool coming up from the previous layer um, that we just did so a narrow row of five going up like that on both uh sides here we're going to place down a row of what is going to be um actually three narrow brick slabs so it's going to be three narrow brick slabs that come off of uh basically these three uh, narrow, or black wool blocks from the end here so just like this we then also want to go and place down two narrow brick slabs that come off these like that up to the sides there on both sides once that's done we're going to place down a narrow row on top so we're going to place down five black wool blocks again on top of the row from the previous or from the previous row of five here we're going to place down one black wool block that goes toward the front followed by another brick top slab we then want to go ahead and go to the back here place down two black wool blocks and in a narrow brick top slab like that out to the sides here we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this black wool block on the end here followed by two cobblestone walls once that's done, we're going to take narrow brick stairs, place down a row of four. So we have one, two, three, and four narrow brick ups down stairs, followed by one and two cobblestone walls, and then a wither skeleton skull. Once that's uh, done there, we're going to place down a uh, another row going up. So we're going to place down a narrow row of five of black wool that goes up. So a black wool block that goes up from this right here. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of this black wool block, a narrow brick slab on top of this one, uh, this top slab right here. Going back from the stair, we should have a total of five black wool blocks back, followed by two narrow brick slabs, and then a iron trap door on the end here. Going up to the sides, we want to go ahead and start off placing down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of this narrow brick stair, followed by a row of one and two of cobblestone walls back, followed by one, two, and three 
Nether Brick Stairs, and then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves Skeleton Skulls, place down one, and then a Skeleton Skull at a nice kind of slight 30 degree angle. And lastly on top here, we're going to go ahead and go to our second and third Black Wool Blocks and place down two Iron Trap Doors on top there for the top um, little kind of bulge there. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and move on to the tail here, which is um, overall relatively pretty simple. Uh, for this to go ahead and get started, we're going to place down a Iron Trap Door. That's going to be on the second black hole block right here. We then want to go and place down a row of one, two, three, and four black hole blocks back, followed by a uh, stone slab full block and a stone button on both sides of this first of this uh, last black hole block here in this row of four. Go ahead and go up from this. We're going to place down a black hole block that goes up from the second black hole block here, followed by one and two back. Again, a stone button on both sides of this black hole block right here and a stone slab full block. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair on top of this narrow brick or this black wool block in the front here, followed by two black wool blocks back. Stone button on each side of the last one. And again, the stone slab going up. Uh, next row going up, we're going to go ahead and go to the second black wool block here, place down one up, and a second black wool block behind it. Again, a stone button on both sides of the second black wool block, and then a stone slab full block. Uh, continuing now, we're going to place down a nether brick stair on top of this one right here, black wool block behind it. Again, a stone a uh, slab full block, stone buns on both sides of this black hole block here. And then uh, going up again, we're going to place down another black hole block, stone buns on both sides, and a stone slab full block that goes back. And on the very top here, we're going to place down a row of two of what is going to be narrow brick slabs. And then we want to go and just go to the narrow brick slab on top of the stone slabs here. And we're going to place down wither skeleton scrolls around it, like that for the tip there. Once that's all done, that is going to pretty much do it for the in-flight version of the U2S uh, spy plane. Uh, with that, we can move on to our landed version of the aircraft. So if you want to put the landing gear and have this thing landed and follow the directions I gave in the beginning of the video, we can go ahead and move on to putting it, the landing gear on. Other than that, uh, that'll do it for the in-flight version. Let's move on to the landing gear. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to putting the landing gear on the aircraft. Now, if you went ahead and followed my directions correctly in the beginning of the uh, video, you should have a total of two blocks of space in between the bottom here and this underneath these end rods and stuff. You only have one block of space. And um, basically, you just want to make sure that there's enough space underneath there and that the spacing is correct that you do have. Um, once you're sure that that is correct, then we could go ahead and put on the landing wheels by working on the first kind of set here, which is the front wheels up here. Now for this, we want to go ahead and go to the bottom here, and right after this iron trap door, on this little kind of uh, section that kind of pops on the, pops off on the bottom here, we're going to break four black wool blocks back from that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our cobblestone walls, we're going to go, ahead and go to the second uh, to last here, we're going to place down a uh, cobblestone wall in the, in the space up here, and then one that goes down like this. Uh, coming off this cobblestone wall here, um, or actually my bad, this is, uh, yeah, that's actually my bad. <laughs> I'm right. Uh, I thought I was wrong there for a second. Uh, we're going to go and place down a nether brick stair that's going to basically come off, come down like this on the both sides here and kind of create the wheel that kind of goes around like this. So this stair connects up on the side here of this cobblestone wall and the same thing over here. So just like this. Once that's done in the space down here, we're going to go and grab ourselves a stone brick slab which uh, we can just go and grab one. So stone brick top slab, we're going to place down one that comes down like this. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick stair that's going to come off of this cobblestone wall right here, this uh, like that, facing forward. And on the bottom of the stair, we do want to place down a lever. So we may need to actually go ahead and go um, kind of place, break a block underneath it, place down a lever and have it flicked in to connect up to that stone brick um, top slab. When that's all done there, we can go ahead and take our nether brick slabs and we can place down uh, basically one, two, three, and four along the sides here to kind of show the doors that open up to reveal the landing gear. And same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. Also, one thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some glass blocks and also some signs. And we do want to go ahead and put the landing gear lights on. So for this, we're going to place down an item frame on this nether brick stair here, both sides, a glass block in those item frames. And we are also going to place down a sign also on these narrow brick stairs here, like that, for the uh, little uh, landing lights. When that's all done, that's going to do it for the front wheel. Let's move on to what is going to be the rear wheel. Also, one quick thing before I go ahead and uh, forget, uh, actually for this wheel up here, we also want to place down an end rod that's going to come down and connect up to this stone brick stair like that. 
Uh, my apologies for missing that. Just go ahead and add that on. And when you have that done, we can now move on to our right, rear guys, wheels. Move on to the rear landing wheels. These ones are very simple. We're just going to go ahead and go to the bottom here. We have this row of black wool right here. We want to go ahead and go to the basically second, third, and fourth blocks from last right here. So this being the last block, we're going to place down three cobblestone walls that come down from them. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of two of stone brick top slabs on the bottom two cobblestone walls. And then one that goes back like this with a block of coal coming off this uh, stone brick top slab to both sides. We're going to place down a lever on top of the top slab facing toward the cobblestone walls. And also on the sides here, we're going to place down a stone button uh, with an item frame. And in the item frame, we're going to want to place down a light gray stained glass pane just like this. And same thing over here. Just like that for the wheels here on both sides for the landing wheels like that. Uh, once that's done, we do have one last set of landing wheels to do. And that's going to be the ones on the wings. And we'll be done with the landed version of the U2. Alright, so moving on to the last part of the landing gear. We're going to be moving on to the wings here. The last thing we want to do is just to go ahead and throw on this uh, little wheel here that's connected on the wings here. That basically supports the wings thing from the uh, aircraft because it kind of slant down a little bit when it lands. Uh, so basically to show this, we want to go ahead and go to the bottom section here. We want, or we're going to go to this section right here where the snare brick slab is, right before the snare brick top slab for the front portion of the wing. We're going to go ahead and go to the section here that's right underneath this slab. We're going to go ahead and go to the second black wall block back, place down a snare brick fence post that comes down, followed by another brick stair underneath it. Come off the snare brick stair down at an angle, we're going to place down a block of coal. Come off the back of the snare brick stair, a lever that goes down, and a stone button like this on both sides of the block of coal. We're going to go do the same thing over to the other wing. So same thing again. Uh, we're going to go into this section right here. Uh, narrow brick fence post, uh, narrow brick upside down stair, block of coal, lever on the back, stone buttons on both sides, and you have yourself the uh, supports there for the side wings. Once that's all done, that's going to basically do it for uh, the landing gear and for the U2 overall. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This be thank you for my sign the build, link to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired on to uh, keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use forever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, a special thanks to our new Patreon supporter, Jarek Barnes. Um, and thank you again. And uh, this has been Garrett to go for, and I'll see you guys next time.